highlight selected row on this worksheet. This is budget worksheet. I will highlight selected row on this worksheet. That is July, August, September, and some of the, there are many items in this budget worksheet. Accessories worksheet name is accessories. Okay, to highlight selected row on this worksheet, go to developer menu. Click on developer menu. Click on visual basic. In this visual basic, double click on sheet to accessories. Yes. Now, I'm gonna write code uh, to highlight selected row, row so dim i as long then if i greater than one usually header row is in the one index it will highlight except first row it will highlight details row uh, without header row i mean first row so rows i dot entire row dot interior dot color index equal to zero in deep okay now declare target range target row in i if i greater than one oh no taken okay then just uh, copy this code to color the details row row i enter row dot interior dot color equal to rgb foot rgb in color red 0 green 255 blue 255 okay now just close this window now you can see selected row is highlighted when your cursor is selected it's highlighted and when you move this cursor from the row it's uh, uh, become same as previous okay now header row is also highlighted you can see uh, my header row is uh, index 8 up to index 8 so change the index i greater than 8 and i greater than 8 okay now close this window and then if you select on the header row a 7 6 5 8 it will not highlight it it will highlight it only the details row after 8 index okay now this is xlx sx file this is excel file now i'm gonna save it you can see to save a file with this picture click no and then choose a macro enable file type in the file type list so uh, i have to save it in uh, excel as to macro enable file select uh, select the desktop i will uh, save this file in the desktop this is now xlsx select macro enable excel macro enable workbook dot x l s m okay select x l s m macro enable workbook file then click on save yes the file is saved close this file and then open the file what you saved in the desktop macro enable file dot x l s m okay click on enable content okay now it's highlighted selected row is highlighted let's check the code in the visual basic yes thanks for watching this tutorial